Thank you, Eric. Well, good evening, everyone. And happy to see you guys. Happy that you came out. Um, I'm listening to everyone and I'm going, oh, wow, I can actually connect the dots here, right? Because Eric started with collaboration, so did Alex. Um, kept on talking about teamwork. And then um, Joanna came in and talked about purpose. And then Dominic, you know, talking about your tribe. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're hitting everything on the nose. What is there left for me to talk about, right? <laughs> but one of the things that um, for myself, as Eric stated, I am the regional director of the Small Business Development Center, but that is not all I do. Um, I'm also a professor, I'm a teacher. And I have to tell you, Teaching came about because of the business I had. I had a direct mail business, and I realized that I enjoy working with small business, but more so helping to educate them and to move them forward. So that being the case, I also realized, oh my God, the passion for entrepreneurship in me really grows each and every year because I think that we all have that within ourselves, that it is a mindset and we all can develop it. But not only that, leadership look at yourselves and go i am a leader you started your business you're a leader you're gonna have such an impact on your community because i'm all about building communities you know it is about having an impact and changing other people's lives and when i was talking with dominic because i was like what am i supposed to talk about eric didn't tell me what i was going to talk about because boy can i talk about topics Ask my students, they'll probably say, and she can't be quiet either, right? <laughs> Which is all fine. And I said, you know, there's one book that no matter what, I always come back to. And it's called The Four Agreements. How many of you have read The Four Agreements? Right? And when I told Dominic that, he goes, ah, I read the book. Ah, right? And I was like, let me tell you something. That is one book that whenever something is happening to me, I go back to it and I get something different from it. So I wanted to share with you guys about the four agreements. For those of you who may not have read it, it's by Don Miguel, Don Miguel Cruz, right? And it really is about understanding where you can go in developing collaboration, where you can go in creating leadership, more so for yourself, teaching yourself how to be resilient through all the things that you're going to go through as an entrepreneur and as a business owner, right? So I do have my cheat sheet because I was like, I'm not going to, miss one and go oh my god which one am i missing right so the first one is talk impec being impeccable with your words why is that so important because it's not just the words that you're telling someone it's the words that you're telling yourself what are you communicating about what you're doing you know joanne was talking about finding your purpose writing it down that's a form of communication are you being clear for yourself and those that you're building that team with because collaboration is key you want to be successful, whether you have an employee or not, collaboration is key. You're going to develop partnerships with other individuals who are going to have an amazing impact on your organization. But are you communicating effectively? What is it that you're telling them? What is it that you're willing to share? How much of yourself are you willing to share with that, right? And you want to make sure that you do that as clearly as possible. I think we get lost in our words or we think that our words don't have an impact. I don't know about you, but remember, what is this sticks and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? I take that back because you can hit me with a stick, but you say a word, it will have an impact on me. I am one that believes that with the words that we have, we can lift others. There's a saying that goes out there, we rise by lifting others. And if you ever read my bio, it's on it. Why? Because I truly believe that. That how is it that we're gonna help each other rise as a community, as business owners, it's by how we communicate with each other. And it goes into leadership. How are you communicating? You know, what is it the people who are working with you, beside you, or even your subordinates? How are they coming across? What is it that they're getting from you? So that was the first one, right? Be impeccable with your words. Second one is um, not taking anything personally. I grew up a long time ago, and my philosophy then was, if you don't pay my rent, you have nothing to say to me. <laughs> I am not listening, right? Same thing with my mortgage. You don't cover my mortgage, guess what? I don't need to listen to you, right? So, but what it really comes down to is, as entrepreneurs, we're going to come across times in our lives where people are going to tell us no, or they're going to tell us, your idea is not feasible, or whatever excuse 
And it could be a family member telling you, are you crazy? You want to start that business? Like, really, you're leaving that six-figure job to do what? Are you insane? But you have to understand, what is it for yourself, right? So, as yourself, making sure that when it comes to that, you're not listening to what other people are saying, but you're trusting yourself, which is a conversation we had earlier about trust. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? It's telling you, you can go forward, go forward. If it's telling you, you need to take a step back, hey, no one loses anything by taking one step back. You know, it's just going to propel you to go even further and move up, right? It definitely is going to help you with your own emotional intelligence. I know working with the team, and trust me, I've used the four agreements on my team when I had to be that mediator between, you know, colleagues saying, okay, you know, we have to really watch ourselves here and make sure that we're not taking things personally. Because one thing I've learned, you have no idea what's going on in my head, like I don't know what's going on in your head. And just because you look at me, because I've been told, oh my God, look at that face. And it's like, or do you hear the tone in her voice? And I'm like, it has nothing to do with you. You know, it has to do with whatever is going on in my head, in my life. And this is the way I'm expressing it. And if it makes you feel bad, that's on you, not on me. Therefore, I am not going to take it personally. Right. So it is having empathy and understanding what other people and saying, OK, I get where you're coming from. But again, that's your deal, not mine. This is not going to help me move forward. Therefore, I am not taking what you're saying personally. You know, also, I've learned with not taking things personally, I do appreciate constructive um, feedback. I only accept it from those that have my best interests in mind. I have mentors who guided me. I have to tell you, just quick, I received my doctorate at 58 years old. That was only a couple of years ago. And the reason I say that is, first of all, I'm a lifelong learner. I'll always be learning something, and I'm good with that. But I had mentors that kept on telling me, girl, you got this. You're not going to quit now. You know, you've come so far that whenever I feel like going, oh, God, give me the strength, they came through, and they were able to move me forward. So for you, I say, you know, look at that constructive feedback only if it's going to propel you to go forward. Because you are going to encounter these individuals who are not going to do that for you. So remember, they don't pay your rent. Don't worry about them, right? <laughs> then the other one is don't make assumptions. We go around in this world again making assumptions. Oh, my God, they didn't give me that loan because, I don't know, I'm a Latina. No, maybe it was because you didn't have a good business plan. <laughs> it has nothing to do, you know, again, standing there and assuming or saying, oh, this person is behaving this way because... You know what? Ask the question. I've learned so much by asking questions. You know, quiz, what is it? Quisitive in, in, inquisitive? In, inquisitive? No. Inquiry. Inquiry. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Dominic. Right? So it is that. It's what questions do you ask? Why are you asking those questions? Right? So you do want to know. You don't want to make an assumption. And I do that all the time. I tell people, I don't make assumptions. I work on the premise that I know nothing. I don't know you. I don't know what you're saying. You know what? I need you to educate me. I'm okay with that. We come from different places in this huge, big world that we live in. Who am I to make an assumption of you? You know, don't stereotype me. I'm not stereotyping anyone. I don't know who you are. You know, so again, when I look at assumptions, I love to ask questions. I also learn how to listen. Trust me, I can talk. I said that already, right? So, but I also learned that there's a time and place for it. And that there's times that I really have to actively listen, not to respond, but to really get what you're saying. As a regional director of the Small Business Development Center, that's important to me because I want to know what is it that you're trying to achieve. And if I'm only listening to tell you what to do, which again, I'm a mom, I'm good at that too, that that's not it. I want to know what is it that you're trying to achieve? How do you plan on achieving it? What recommendations can I give you? But in order for me to give those recommendations to you, I have to stop and listen. 
you know, and I have to tell you, I was one of those that you would start talking. I was like, oh my God, I need to interrupt because I need to get it out. Then I learned, you know what, Jackie, you age, I'm aging well. That's what I can tell you because I've learned to turn around and go, you know what, honey, take a deep breath, let them finish. And then if you have anything worthwhile saying, then say it. Don't say it just for the heck of hearing your voice talk. Really turn around and you want to make sure that you do that. And also, in terms of documentation. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Again, <laughs> telling me you're talking way too much. But no, um, in terms of documentation, by taking the time, you know, not to make assumptions, writing it down. I'm huge, as you can tell, in writing things down, right? Because I want to make sure I get it right. And then the last thing with the four agreements is always do your best. And when I'm talking about your best, your best changes every single day. We don't wake up going, ooh, I'm 150% today, you know? There's times that I'm like, oh my God, 50% and I am lucky, you know? It, this is the way life is, you know? What I was when I was in my 50s, now that I'm in my 60s, two different stories, right? But I've learned to say, okay, I need to make sure that whatever I'm bringing to the table today is the best that I got. Because I, for me, what I do, I'm passionate about. I really feel that helping small businesses is where we need to go. Helping people create businesses as well changes their lives. There's nothing like a client telling you, because you helped me start a business, you helped me become a sustainable business, I am now buying my first house. My children will no longer be growing up in an apartment, now they're growing up in a home. So now we're changing generations. So for me, that's humongous, right? So taking that into account. So when you just combine these four agreements together, think of this, you're creating a culture of trust within your organization, which is what you want more than anything else. I know that when I look for leaders, I wanna know that I could trust that leader. Then I could have a conversation with them that they're being as transparent as they possibly can. If they're not doing that, at this stage, I'm like, nope, don't wanna be there anymore. I can walk away and I'm happy with that. And then it also drives high performance. You know, when you're looking at your businesses and you wanna create the best business possible, think about it, put just those four simple agreements and trust me, sometimes you want to use all of them. Sometimes you just need to use one of them. But believe it or not, it will get you extremely far. So are we good on time? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I can keep on talking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> so he's taking the mic back. OK. Yeah, because right. we know well, what's going to happen. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.